Welcome, welcome to Chris's Caribbean Delights. And as you can see here, I have a wonderful, nice piece of salmon, and I'm going to, I'm going to pan sear this salmon. I just wanted to uh, share with you guys my uh, my technique and my the way I do it. So. Um, when you get your salmon, when you're buying your salmon, um, just a, a few words, just to make sure, make sure when you when you buy it, you ask the the fishmonger or the person who is selling it to you if it has been scaled. Uh, sometimes you bring it home and then there's still scales on there, and you don't know, and um, then you, you try to scale it at home, and the scale flies all over the place and it sticks to your skin, and you find it months after. You know what I mean, but anyway, just ask them if it's been scaled before. If it hasn't been scaled, ask them to scale it for you. Okay, <clears throat> so we can just put some. We're gonna use some really light uh, uh, seasoning on this, and I'm gonna score my skin because this the salmon skin or fish skin, it, it's actually bacon of the sea or bacon from the sea it could be you know it's so it gets nice and crispy when once you do it properly and you can enjoy that uh like maybe you're just as good as chicharron you know but here let's say it's bacon of the sea um i just like to score my uh my skin just with the knife just score it two maybe three you know right there and that will help the seasoning is going to get in there also and it's going to cook evenly so just leave the front as it is now um, I'm going to just put a, a few drops of uh, cooking oil on the back and the front of it rub that in some salt and pepper Nothing too fancy. Just a little bit of a little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, pepper. Some kosher salt. Right, and you're done. I mean, it's up to you. You can put the other stuff on there, complete seasoning, um, but uh, sometimes you just want the, the, the flavor of the salmon to come through. So just do a light seasoning there. Okay, we're gonna get our pan heated really, really nice, and uh, we'll start our pan searing. And I'm getting my pan heated, I have a, a little, a little a piece of butter in there, maybe a half a tablespoon of butter, and um, I'm gonna let this. Uh, once this butter has uh, melted and uh, stop uh, frothing, then we'll put our we'll put the salmon in here in into the pan. I'm using an unstick pan, but you can use a aluminum pan, uh, not aluminum, but a, a stainless steel pan if you do if you do prefer. I think we're all ready now. Now go skin side down. And when you're putting any protein into a pan, just make sure you place it away from you so if there's any splashing it's going to splash away from you so and in the, in the, for the initial uh, thing i need to i like to put some weight on there just to get that skin make sure it's in contact with the with the pan properly get it in contact with that pan And 
don't disturb it. Don't disturb it for at least a minute and a half or so. Just leave it alone. Now it's time for me to do the flip. I'll just touch, just flip it over. And you see that, that skin nice and crisp. Crispy skin. And it's all after about a minute, it's uh, like two thirds done. So just need another minute on this side, a minute and a half, and another minute and a half, maybe three minutes total. This is a thick, it's a thick piece, so you just need to monitor it. I want it to get so opaque, you know you're done. But uh, it's a thick piece, so. You just give it about a minute and a half on, on each side and you'll be fine. And here I just give it one last flip back onto the skin side so that it will maintain that crisp. You're done. Bon appetit. So here's my salmon, and here's what I was talking to you about the bacon of the sea. This crispy skin. Oh my goodness. You can just peel that off and enjoy it. Fantastic. Hey. One of the best parts of the pair. Bacon of the sea. <laughs> the crispy salmon skin done right and now that flaky flesh mm -mm -mm. awesome so that's very simple and you can have a wonderful piece of seared salmon in no time. Yeah, just follow my instructions and follow my technique. Just get that salmon into that butter and oil mixture. The pan has to be nice and piping hot and you put some weight on there. You put press your hand on it. There are fish weights that you can use, but you don't have time for fish weights. You'll have to go looking for them, maybe on Amazon or something. But you just rest your hand on there and press it down for about a, a 30 seconds or so. Let that skin come into direct contact with the, with the, with the heat of, of the pan. And once that you hear that sizzling, that sizzling sound for at least 30 seconds or so, you let it go. And don't bother with it. Don't trouble it. Just let it sit there for at least a minute, a minute and a half. Then you flip it over, another minute and a half. And then you can flip it back just to get that skin, that last hit of, uh, of heat and so that it will maintain that crisp. And there you go. You serve it with some veggies, broccoli, whatever veggies you like, steamed, butternut squash, whatever. But there you go. So once again, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be coming to you with these tips and some wonderful recipes. Bon appetit.